Yeah, this is where I lived. I slept in row 29 last night. Don't try this at home. Mark Malkoff is actually living on this AirTrans 737 for a month as it travels the nation every day, picking up and dropping off passengers. He's been flying for more than three weeks now, and his most recent stop was SeaTac. So we greeted him wow, with a mocha right. frappuccino, yes. which he requested on his blog. Welcome so to Seattle. Excited. Yeah, where's my flannel shirt? <laughs> Mark says he's living on the plane to get over his fear of flying, but he's done stunts like this before, like living in this IKEA store for a week. Go! While on board the jet, he gets plenty of exercise. And he plays practical jokes. We got bored the other day. We did something called, it was called flight attendant call button wave, where you start in the front row of business class and you get them to press, everyone at the same time in the front row presses the call button. And then at the second row, third row, fourth row, so it's ding, 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 ding. And he says he stays clean. Really? while sleeping, eating, and living on a plane? Charleston was fun, and then Flint, Michigan, they hosed me down on the tarmac, the fire department. <laughs> Cleanest I've been in two weeks. He's also found a weird way to wash his hair. Um, we didn't play bingo or twister like a couple flights ago. And a flight attendant did not wash my hair this time, but it's happened in the past. Um, yeah, well, I got that was a mechanic, actually. I was going to take a, a, a it's kind of like a bath type thing on the plane in a kiddie pool, and the water wasn't working. So the closest thing we had was Fresca. The one thing we couldn't get an answer to, why during his one hour layover in Seattle, did he take a fly fishing lesson outside his plane? Have you ever uh, tried to catch fish on tarmac before? No, never. This is definitely the first. Really? Yeah. Um, are you related to Owen Wilson? But the fun quickly ended, the fishing gear came off, and it was time to head back into his home in the air. This time he's off to Atlanta on his way to a world record. 30 days? I think it's insane. I think it's kind of crazy, <laughs> but fun. That's weird. <laughs> Mark's last flight is June 30th, and then his next big stunt was to stay in his apartment for a month and sleep in his own bed. Once again, this will serve as a final boarding call for Air General's Flight 16. At SeaTac, Susan West, Q13, Fox News. I'm leaving on a jet plane. I don't Dan Wace, the owner of Chili Inferno in Kirkland, Washington, is subjecting himself to his own dangerously hot hot sauces. Yeah, it's hot! In fact, when you buy his hottest hot sauce of all, you have to sign a waiver form, promising you won't use it to hurt someone. His hot sauces are that hot, and so is his business, which just opened a few months ago. I didn't want to be another coffee latte stand. You know, I was looking for something different. He sells the largest selection of hot and spicy foods on the West Coast. And here's the proof, more than 500 hot sauces to pick from. We've got Scorned Woman. DOA Cyanide is the new super hot hot sauce. Of course, we have our politically incorrect hot sauces. We have Brand X, uh, which is an extreme heat, raw heat. Uh, we've got Dave's Insanity, which is always popular. And then we've got this one here, You Can't Handle This Hot Sauce. <laughs> Another unique aspect of Dan's business is that customers can sample the hot sauces. So I took advantage of that opportunity. So let's try, let's start with Susie sauce. Okay. How's that? Why don't you grab a chip right there and we'll just put a little bit on there. Okay, not, that's enough. Okay. And... That's pretty hot. I think I'd like it hotter. We didn't stop there and maybe we should have. That's hot. That's hot, huh? Oh, okay. But not everyone who comes here is buying hot sauce for its taste. Some collect the bottles as a hobby. But the collectors, along with the tasters, will be happy to know that Dan plans on getting an even bigger selection. In fact, I've got a couple of new ones coming. Uh, one of them is called Holy I think you can figure out what that one is called. These two, I'd be happy to say. Susan West, Northwest Cable News, Kirkland, Washington.
She's just a doll, but so much more. Jet Set Nancy is the creation of Alaska Airlines flight attendant Lisa Burt of Longview, who wanted to do something special when she found out a fellow flight attendant had terminal cancer. That coworker and friend is Nancy Hebert. It was a very a, a huge shock when uh, I got the news, and it was just overnight that I had pancreatic cancer and it was stage four and not very well. And no obvious signs. My appetite dropped off dramatic, dramatically. I lost 20 pounds pretty much overnight, and I finally decided, oh my gosh, I've got it right. These diets are finally working. Lisa Burt bought a doll at an airport, uh, made her an Alaska uniform. Airlines That's uniform. Sweet. And she has our 75 year anniversary pin on. And added personal touches to make her look like Nancy. Let me just take one more real quick. Lisa takes Jet Set Nancy on Alaska Airlines flights, poses her, and snaps pictures. You know, I, think I've heard, I think I've heard about this. My wife's a cancer survivor, so anything that uh, has to do with stuff like that, I'm all for it, so it's pretty neat. Lisa emails the photos to Nancy here at her Portland home to lift her spirits and let her know she's still a key member of the Alaska family. Just to, uh, to try and let her know how much she's loved and how special she is. And you are. I miss her. I think the whole, the whole company misses her. And that simple act of kindness has grown much larger. Just ask Nancy's husband. I think it's tremendous. I mean, it's kept Nancy involved with the, the company, and I think it's helped keep her alive. So it's uh, well, I'm eternally grateful to Lisa Nancy. for doing it. Oh, and there she's at the hair yeah, salon. Get my hair. He says it's helping Nancy beat the odds. He said three to six months. That's it. Almost seven months. Yeah. Yeah, almost seven months now. Jet Set Nancy started flying in November and has been on over 300 trips. She's traveled throughout the U.S., Mexico, and Canada. And then I have all flight attendants for a while. Now yeah. there are albums filled with Jet Set Nancy photos that Lisa hopes to turn into a book to sell and raise money for pancreatic cancer research. Meantime, here in Portland, Nancy will continue her chemo and wants to go back to work once she gets her strength back. Oh, that's going to be an amazing party. It'll be a party. It will be a party. And then Jet Set Nancy can retire her wings. That'll be a good day. That's yeah. what we're praying for. Mm -hmm. Yep. In Portland, Susan West, Q13, Fox News.